Hello my beloved viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel on a new video of lookup series of Microsoft Excel. In my channel you will find some useful series playlist and today we are going to learn how to format data properly when the criteria of your VLOOKUP formula is formatted as a date and we will also use some interesting tricks to get error free result. We can find values, numbers or text that are associated with particular dates in Excel by using the VLOOKUP function easily. To learn about this formula, please watch this video till the end. I am Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. And friends, please check the description box there, you will find the link of the excel file which I am using in this video. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference, I am going to run the OSK software that means the on-screen keyboard. And friends, I have already created a file previously to save time. Here it is. Suppose you have a data file like this, I have a simple data file to show you the basic VLOOKUP with the date format. So we will use the VLOOKUP formula in this and our lookup value will be in this cell that is called E6 cell. To retrieve a value on a specific date form a table you can easily use the VLOOKUP function. In this example you have to type the formula just like this equals to VLOOKUP then it is asking for lookup value and our lookup value will be in this cell that is called E6. Then put a comma. Then you have to select your table array and in my case the table array is from B6 to C11. Then put a comma again. Then it is asking for column index number. Friends, please select the column index number carefully. You have to select it according to your table. That means if you watch this excel sheet your cost that means this column will be number 3 column but if you select the column index number according to this table it will be as number 2. So we have to select number 2 here then put a comma here then we have to use the exact match function select this function carefully we have to use the exact match function from this option then close the bracket and simply hit the enter look at here it is showing you an error because we did not give any lookup value here so I will simply put the lookup value as 1st January and it will show you the accurate result right so let's check how this formula actually works this is a standard VLOOKUP formula. It requires a table with VLOOKUP values. In this case, this is a date to the left of the values being retrieved. The lookup value comes from cell E6 which must be a valid date. The table array is the range from B6 to C11 and the column index is number 2. Since the amounts are in the second column of the table. Finally, zero is provided for the final argument to force an exact match. The VLOOKUP function locates the date value for 1st January 2019 and returns the value at the same row in the second column as 2300. Note carefully the lookup value and the date values in the table must be valid table dates. That means you have to format this cell properly. Look at here carefully friends. You have to format this cell in the number format in the date format like this. No short date or no long date. You have to simply go to here right click on this cell then go to format cells then here from this option you have to select this like options you do not need to select this or this or any other of that you have to select 
these like options from this menu right you have to go to date then select this one otherwise you might get an error okay friends now let's talk about an interesting trick of Microsoft Excel if you type anything in this lookup value cell that doesn't even belongs to your table array then of course it will show you an error right to prevent this type of typing mistake errors you can use the most important function of Microsoft Excel that is called the drop down menu you have to simply just go to the data tab from here then click on data validation then again data validation now you have to select on this tab as list then you have to select your source in my case the source is this one from B6 to B11 right then you have to simply click on OK button then look at here if you type anything like errors it will show you as this one right so you have to simply click on that cell where your lookup value is present then you will get an down arrow here right click on this and you will get the options as the options are here in your table array so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with another video of vlookup please share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section share this video with your friends keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned